A few weeks ago, the family Winter left the Caribbean to go home to Norway. Now it was time for their boat Lens to go back to Europe. Lens had been on the same place for more than four weeks, so we set out on a cleaning mission. The first thing was to clean the anchor chain. I'm lazy and I think that's why I'm so clever. Instead of brushing all the green stuff away, we dropped out more chain and let the nature do our job. We hoped that the chain would be cleaned when it went back and forth in the sand. Next thing was to clean the bottom of the boat. It was like a full ecosystem. There were seaweed, algae, fish and crabs. It would have been cool to let it sit there and come to Norway with the tropical coral. A good thing for us is that Lens has a silicone-based bottom paint and hardly anything was sticking hard to the hull. We can really recommend this paint. It works and it's environmentally friendly. And we got some action as well. <laughs> And then it felt like I had a crab in my ear, and I had. It's here, under my shoes. This was in my ear. It's quite big. It's huge. <laughs> After a while, it started to itch all over the body. At first, we thought it was algae. But then we saw we were covered in tiny crabs. They were only one to two millimeter in size. It was like underwater mosquitoes. Notice the eye scraper that I hold in my hand. Perfect when you're cleaning the propeller. After a few hours work, the hull looked as new. Time to raise the anchor and go to the cargo ship. Look how clean the anchor chain is compared to how it was when we started. Success! This was one out of six ships that picked up yachts from Martinique this season. There are two types of cargo vessels for yacht transports. One is ordinary cargo ship where they put the boats on top of the ship. The second one which you can see on the top left on the screen, they lower the whole ship and the yachts can go inside from the back. I must say that Seven Star Yacht Transport was very professional. Everything went smooth and calm without any drama whatsoever. They even had a diver in the water to make sure that the straps were put in the right place. Lens was the smallest boat with its 35 feet and we counted more than 40 boats altogether. Normally you go on board to put the aft stay back and switch off and lock the boat, but due to the coronavirus no customers were allowed on board. Some charter companies let their boats go in the Mediterranean in the summer and in the Caribbean in the winter. They sail them from the Med and put them on ships on the way back. The next port for Parkracht is Iljumeden in the Netherlands. It will take them two weeks for them to go there.
If you like this episode, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.